welcome to this lecture in this lecture i'll demonstrate how i utilize bicep at work and how it makes my life easier this entire lecture is an exercise that allows students to learn and try the things along with me don't worry i'm not going to boring you with theory okay all right i was sort of okay with arm templates i used to write arm templates quite often for my infrastructure as a code needs i had no complaints until i explored bicep and since then i just love it i no more write arm templates or want to be associated with arm templates at all i'm going to show you how easily you can transit from arm to bicep if like me you also don't feel any special attachment towards it this lecture is for you if you understand the terms like azure resource deployment arm template etc if you have no clue of what is bicep it is completely okay all right let's get started then first of all environment setup i have installed visual studio code and a bicep extension on top of it also i have installed ag cli in my laptop after installing cli see if this command is working for you if yes great else you need to install it manually using this statement pretty straightforward yes looks like my version is outdated so it is suggesting me to upgrade let's do it why not great so it is upgraded let me check the version again and no more warning so yes we are on the latest version of bicep now well congratulations with this our environment setup to play around with bicep templates is completed now we are good to write our own bicep files what we can do is go here file open folder and select the folder where you want to work on bicep files and then once the folder is open you can create a file say my infra my infra dot bicep which is the extension of any bicep file hit enter this small icon is of bicep so this signifies that yeah, your extension is installed and it is recognizing the dot bicep extension right from here we can create parameters so bicep extension that we installed in visual studio code is going to help us immensely with the syntax so let's say if i'm saying parameter location i want to pass from outside and of, of course location is a string and then i'll say equals to some default value i want to assign so i can say htus2 from outside if the value for this location parameter is passed then it will be considered but if this parameter's value is not supplied from outside of this template then this default value will be used if you do not want to give any default value and this much is enough all right instead of saying is to us to if you want to take it always from the resource group location itself you can say resource group dot location and this is also fine okay to whichever resource group you are deploying the template it will take the location of that resource group similarly we can have more parameters say vm size it is again a string and i want to give a default value like this so we can write our parameters this way we can create variables also so where one name of variable and then some value say testing purpose so like this we can create variables you must be noticing this yellow underline 
and this is simply a warning that you have created a parameter or variable but have never actually used it so do you want to delete the variable or parameter that is what bicep is suggesting because it doesn't know that we are writing a fresh bicep right so we might want to use it later it doesn't understand that after that we just have to say i want to create a resource what type of resource you want to create maybe storage account any name you want to give here this is just for referencing within this template it is not the name of resource that you are deploying or type of the resource that you are deploying type you have to specify here so there is entire list of resource types here out of which we want storage account let's say right then what is the api version we'll go with the latest one and that's it hit enter hit enter again you want to loop or put a condition here or want to go ahead with this new resource creation with the required properties so you can just select required properties and then these different properties that are specifically for storage account has come over here which we can fill and then we are ready with this bicep file this is how we write bicep file from scratch as this lecture is designed teaching how i am using bicep at my work so i'm not going to teach more of bicep concept from this point in time but we'll take you to azure portal i do have many resources in my subscription as well as we can create more resources right so let me show you storage account i'll say create new storage account then i'll select my resource group name should be okay this is accepted east us fine i'm fine with this premium performance i want let's say and yeah i'm fine with this next advanced i can say okay enable storage account don't enable and don't enable public access also go to next i'm fine with the default setting tags okay i'll add one tag on a is and department is let's say cloud services some tags we can have then go to review plus create i'm not going to hit this create button because if i do it will deploy this one resource but next time when i want to create similar resource again i'll have to follow this entire process one more time which i don't want instead of doing that we want infrastructure as a code means we can use the same code again and again and deploy our resources in order to maintain the consistency right so for this microsoft has provided this wonderful option of downloading the template for automation which we can do and download the template instead of creating this template by selecting all different options at the runtime in this ui and then downloading if you say oh i already have a resource i want to get bicep file for that so you can always go to the resource of your choice that you want to automate with bicep and write export template so from here you will get the template for that particular resource which you can again download so no matter which path you choose at the end of day you are going to get the arm templates which is important for us for now all right so i have downloaded the arm template and extracted them over here now we have to switch to our console and my files are over here right so this is the trick i'm going to write az bicep then let me show you what different options we have over here we have build option for building a bicep file as well as we have an option of this option can help us in 
converting an ARM template to bicep file, right? So what we are going to do is use decompile method and I'm telling it this is my file. So my file is template.json, right? Hit enter. So it has converted our ARM template into bicep file and this is the new bicep file which it has created for us. Let's take a look at this file in our Visual Studio code and there we go. We have created this beautiful looking bicep file for automation of our resource deployment with effort of just clicking few buttons. So straightforward process and we can get our bicep file like this. If you do not understand the value of this bicep file, I want to show you corresponding ARM template. Look at this. It is in a JSON format. It may be a very nice format for computers to read and parse information from the files. But do you really think it is very readable or human friendly language? Well, I never liked it. If I have to write a script in which it is needed to parse information from a file, I'll definitely consider JSON. It's not that bad. But if I have to use it for writing my infrastructure as a code, I'll definitely not like ARM template more than this bicep file, which is actually very comfortable to my eyes. I hope I'm not the only one who thinks this way. You are also loving the bicep equally. Yeah. If you want to make any changes in this bicep file, you can do. For example, this parameter is not required. So bicep don't like this. We can remove it. If we are not using it in the template, why to keep it, right? So yeah, we can simply remove it and bicep is not throwing any error. If I want to add another tag, say, center is say this is my code center id if you want to create few variables and reduce dependency on these parameters you can do that we remove the parameter so we want to rem remove it from the parameter stored json also so we can remove this and get rid of this parameter yeah like this if you have more changes you want to do to make it more suitable for your needs, you can make those changes in the bicep file. And then we have to think about deploying this bicep file in our Azure environment. Good news is the parameters.json file that we downloaded from Azure portal is 100% applicable for the bicep file as well, right? So it's not going to change. You can use the same parameter.json what you were earlier using for your ARM template. Now, how do we deploy this bicep file in Azure environment and create this storage account? Well, one disadvantage with bicep file is you cannot deploy it using the portal. So the different options we have for deploying ARM file, right? Bicep file will not have this particular option. Rest everything is applicable for bicep as much it is for ARM template, right? But anyways, this limitation doesn't harm us because template we have created not for deploying it from the portal, right? We want to automate the process. That is why we are having infrastructure as a code. So even if this option of deploying a bicep file using Azure portal is missing, it doesn't harm us in any way, right? So first of all, we'll go to our AZCLI. We'll have to log in to prove that we are authorized to be able to deploy our resources in our Azure subscription. Yes, login is successful. So here we are. Now, the same command what you might be using till date for ARM will work with bicep deployment also. No change there either. It is just a simple change of template file name. Nothing more than that. Okay. So, az deployment. We are 
we want to deploy at a group level so group create what is my resource group it is lab setup name of this deployment to my deployment is the template it's template dot bicep not the template dot json because template dot json is arm template we are trying to move away from arm and you start using azure bicep then we have to specify the parameters and this is my parameters dot json file that we have to specify pretty much same statement we write for arm deployment we'll continue to use it except with the change in template file oops looks like i made a mistake here so not single but we have to specify double hyphen and then our deployment seems to be going on yeah it's running and if we want to go to our lab setup resource group and we can very well monitor this deployment from here so deploy my infra is the name we gave right so it has been triggered and it's going on let's wait for a while yeah so deployment is completed and our resource a storage account is over here let's go inside and there we go we have successfully automated the deployment of storage account with the help of a bicep file how cool is that so next time when you have a similar need of deploying a storage account you can always come to your parameters.json make the changes whichever are necessary and run this statement in order to deploy your storage account benefits of using bicep file over powershell and cli is that just like arm it is idempotent so if we again run the same statement it will just check if the resource is already existing in our account if there is any change in the configuration of our existing storage account and it will just try to apply the changes if there is any otherwise it will just skip without throwing any error so it's a good practice to keep running your bicep files again and again and take advantage of item potency i hope now you have slightly better understanding of how you can use azure biceps for automation of your resource deployments in azure subscriptions well that's it for this lecture take good care of yourself thank you